top three finishers at the Gulf Coast Classic 5K here at Florida Gulf Coast University. Sarah Candiando out of Evangelical Christian. Katie Solis and Bethany Jenkins both out of Estero. Girls, uh, congratulations. Uh, you got the win today, Sarah. How's the summer training going? What are you doing to get ready for cross in the fall? Um, it's good. Um, I'm just coming down with Coach Summer and the 3D team every morning, except Fridays, because that's our day off. And that's basically it. Looking forward to the cross country season coming up? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Katie, how's the training going for you? The training's going good. It's pretty intense right now, but Coach Summer's gone for right now, so kind of the, the coach we have right now kind of a little back down a little, but can't wait till he comes back so we can start training hard again. Do you guys really take it to heart that, you know, you got to do a lot of off-season training to kind of get ready and maybe defend your state championship again? But, yeah, like, we all want to win. We want to do a three-peat, so that's what motivates me to get out of bed every day. It's like, we want another state championship, so. Bethany, another ring would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. What's, what's motivating you during the summer? I mean, obviously it's hot, and, you know, I'd much rather sleep in during the summer, to be honest with you, than get out and train. And even if it's in the evening, it's kind of hard sometimes to get out the door. Yeah, well, the two rings on our fingers really motivates me, and the fact that all of the girls next year are leaving, so it'd be really nice to, like Katie said, three-peat, so that we could have a nice, memorable year for them. And so today you guys are taking in a, a 5K, and uh, you guys were up, up front together. Uh, probably about about through the mile mark or thereabouts and how are the legs feeling? I know you're coming back from Georgia a week of hills up there and yeah. how are you feeling? Um, well, today I was kind of tired because we got back really late last night and you know I've been running hills so my legs are like Bleh. but um, it's not like a ginormous big race so it was good, you know, it's okay if I did bad. <laughs> no, not too bad at all. It's just kind of nice to come out and have some yeah. fun and, and run together. And, you know, it's a low pressure meet other than me putting a camera in front of you guys, <laughs> trying yeah. to find out where you all been up to the yeah, summer. Yeah. Uh, did you feel pretty good going through the mile? You guys look pretty good. Yeah, I was feeling good. And then me and her were up there for a mile and a half, I guess. And then she started going. And I tried to go with her, but my legs just didn't feel no, like she going. went with me. She did. And then she dropped me. <laughs> <laughs> And what a finish, holding off a fast charger there at the end, Bethany. I think you held him off when it was all said and done. Hopefully. I don't know. I wasn't really able to pay attention towards the end. Did you hear the footsteps? Yeah. They were getting really close. Yeah, I think you showed some good speed there at the end. Girls, best of luck. We all know champions are made in the offseason, so keep up the good training. And uh, hopefully, Estero will be able to get the three-peat. And uh, Sarah, big cross-country season coming up, so best of luck. <laughs> and uh, look forward to seeing you all down the road. Thank you. Thank you. Katie and Sarah up front for the ladies. Good job, Sarah. Good job. Katie. And our first runner, Sarah Candiano from Evangelical Christian. Round in the bend to home. She'll be sub 20. And maybe even sub-19 as I look a little closer. Running time, 18.52. Sub-19, 18.58 for Sarah Candiano. And here comes Katie Solis out of Estero. She'll finish up just a little bit over 19. We'll give her 19.08. Third place runner, Bethany Jenkins out of Estero, finishing up. We'll see if she can hold him off. He is coming. Shift! Bethany Jenkins going to have some competition right at the line, but she's going to hold him off. 1937. Those are your top three.